All right, the first machine we're going to look at today is the docking saw. Now, the primary function of the docking saw is to cut timber to a rough size, approximately 20 or 30 mil bigger than, you, than the finished size. Now, but before we do that, we need to check the, the board for bow and spring. Now, to do that, we actually look along the edge of the board, like so, and we can check to see which way the bow is running, and we also check this way to for the spring on the actual board as well. So as you can see, as we look along the board there, you can see that it's bowing like so. So we need to make sure that when we place the board on the table, that the bow is facing it this direction, like so. So we've actually got the bow that way on the table. With regards to the spring, we look along the edge of the board in this direction and we check to see where, where there is a spring. And if we look along this one here, we can see there that there is a little bit of a a spring in that direction. Okay, so as you can see, like so. So the idea is that when we've got that set, we place the board onto the fence <coughs> and we keep that as hard as we can up against the fence at this point here and then we do our trim cut first before we start. So once we've established that, we've got that in place, but we'll actually have a look first of all at the, the machine itself and we'll talk about some of the safety features on here that we need to be aware of and also ensure that when you're using the machine you've got the appropriate PPE as well. So as you can see we've got our safety glasses, earplugs or earmuffs and in this case here I'm using uh, leather upper shoes or it may be that you may need to use safety boots. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the machine. If you look at the actual saw itself, you've got an on-off switch. So we've got the green for the on, the red for the off. And we've also got a brake here, which we can use once we've turned the machine off. So we've got a braking mechanism as well. The other thing too, we've got our guard on top of the actual saw, so to prevent access to the, to the actual blade. When using the machine, we need to ensure that we pull it through and make sure that it goes all the way back to ensuring that the blade is not sticking out so that if you were to feed that through or pass that through it does not come into contact with the blade. So the blade needs to be returned back to its home position. Prior to cutting we also need to check that the, the saw is at the right height with regard to the table so when we push that through that we're actually going to do a full cut all the way through the board okay to ensure that that is correct and if we do need to make any adjustments we do it here where we've got the rise and fall wheel there's our locking point here so we're locking it in position and to undo that unlock that there and then adjust the table as so or in this case the actual saw will go up or down now that we've got everything ready to go uh, to do our cut, what we'll do now is we'll turn on the dust extraction and then we'll proceed to do the actual cutting of the board. We're now ready to cut the board, but before we do that we need to check the edge of the, the board itself for any splits, cracks or knots that may be present at the edge. In this case this one's looking pretty good so we don't really need to take too much off but it'd be a good idea just to do a quick or a small trim cut along the edge, probably about 10 mil in. Now, when, before we start cutting, we need to place the board up against the fence. And as before we actually do any cutting, we need to make sure that when you're actually cutting, you don't cross your hand. So the best way to do it is like so. With your left hand on the handle, right hand on the workpiece. And not like in this case here. So that you shouldn't be doing that. All right. The other thing we, we, we're done, we've actually set the, uh, the stop. We've got it set to a preset uh, size. So that's all ready to go. So now that we've got, we're ready, we can now pull on the red button and then press the green button to start the machine. <laughs> 